I have to admit that when I first came out of training, it was a little bit of an anxious time for me, especially in the more uh, sick individuals. But I always felt, I mean, the staff here is phenomenal. All of our nurses have uh, uh, decades of uh, ICU experience, and we are fully equipped to, to deal with pretty much anything that can happen in the lab. If you're having surgery, that's one thing, but when they're working with your heart, you know, you really want the best. And I feel that that's what I've got. Hello, Mrs. Oasis. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. It's nice to see you. Again. <laughs> Again. Each case is very unique, and we try very hard to make sure that we, you know, treat the individual. And, uh, um, you know, you have to take all of their other coexisting medical problems, their life circumstances, their psychological profile, their own personal philosophy about what they want with their lives under consideration before deciding to put these in. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, Patricia, we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Okay. If you feel anything, please let me know, okay? Just follow me down here. I'm already coming down. Can you give me a little wet Goss. How are you doing, Patricia? You doing okay? I'm fine. Good. Everything's going very smoothly. There are many strategies that we have that can effectively cure over 95% of these individuals with uh, recurrence rates of these rhythmias uh, in the 5% range. Everything is in place and we should be finishing up here in the next 5 to 10 minutes, okay? I'm always anxious about everybody that I take care of. I want to make sure that they do well. I think a certain amount of anxiety during a case is healthy for those of us who are doing this. You go back to your room soon. I'll give you a little something for, for the discomfort you'll be feeling over the next day or two.